Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining today's webinar. My name is Andy Hemming and I look after the support process at Tech Local. I'm delighted so many of our customers have been able to attend our first showcase event today and it's great to see some new also. This session will last approximately 10 minutes and I'll be showing you Excel to SMS only. As our existing customers know, there are lots of things you can do with Tech Local. As this is just an overview of one feature, if you're new to us or would like more information on any of the other capabilities within Messenger, just let us know and we can give you a full platform demo on a one-to-one -one basis. So why did we design Excel to SMS? The concept was born out of the desire to provide customers with a means of sending SMS as simply as possible from everyday tools. It's simple to connect. In summary, you need to download a plug, plug in directly onto Excel, configure an API key on your online account with us, and subsequently add this key when prompted during download. This process takes literally two minutes. It's as simple as that. The step-by-step -step guide on how to do this is not yet ready to share, but will be sent to all attendees as priority over the next few days. One final bit of housekeeping prior to showing you the service um, is that the solution will only work with Excel on online, or if on the desktop version, you will need 2000 or 13 or higher. Okay, let's have a look. So you'll see in front of you a traditional Excel spreadsheet that I've uh, pre-prepared with some dummy data in there. On the right hand side what you'll see is a little widget that I've downloaded and as discussed in the introduction we will share how you do this following the webinar with a step-by-step -step instruction. Um, for those that would uh, still need some one-to-one -one support on how to download that, uh, feel free to contact me um, at that point and uh, we can help you uh, when needed. So once that widget is downloaded, um, basically what it does is it pulls um, all of the information from your online account in terms of the sender name. So for the new customers amongst us, what a sender name actually is, is it's the ability to send a text from a, a recognized or trusted source as opposed to a number that, uh, that your customers may not recognize. So you'll see here the sender name, obviously it defaults to text local because that's what I've used uh, in my uh, online account. But obviously if I hit the drop down, I've got everything that I've ever used there along with the numbers. Um, it's worth mentioning you can't create a new sender name directly through Excel. It's only going to pull through what you've used previously. Um, so on that basis, if you do need to create a new sender name, you'd have to do that the first time in the online version. There's two ways you can actually send a message um, through Excel. Um, I'm going to take you through the first uh, step now, um, which is actually just using this as a, as a means of sending a simple text as opposed to logging into the, to the service. It might be quicker to, uh, to open the tab on your desktop as opposed to having to go online and, and put in your login credentials. So on that basis, what you'd actually do is just ignore the, the spreadsheet for the time being. You'd select the sender name. What I'd now like to do is compose a message. So in the traditional format, I can now type as I like and save that message when I'm happy. For the existing customers amongst us today, you will be aware within Messenger itself, there are lots of additional features and functionality that you can use to help you achieve um, better response rates or more customer engagement. They're traditionally through links and attachments. Um, what you can't do with Excel um, is include one of those um, functionality directly into the message. You'll be aware in the bottom left hand corner on Messenger there's a number of icons. Clearly they don't exist here. You can still free type a website, i.e. www.textlocal.com. Um, when you send that message, that person or person's handset will automatically hyperlink that link so it's easy for the customer to click and engage onto the website. However, for those that have used the service before, you'll be well versed that we actually use uh, what's called Bitly links, um, and they have unique trackers in, so we're able to then report back um, the click-through rates. Clearly, if you're just going to type or free type the website address, um, you're not going to get the, uh, the reporting statistics, which is obviously the most advantageous uh, to allow for, for sort of strategic follow-up. So on that basis, I'd probably suggest still using the online version so you get the, uh, the reporting statistics. However, what you can do is clearly if you did generate that link in Messenger, 
and you could copy and paste that directly into Excel. But then I question if you if you need to log in to uh, to generate that link whilst you're in the platform, you might as well send the message from there in any case. So I'd certainly advise if you are using Excel to SMS, it's very much basic content as opposed to including all of your links and attachments. Certainly if you want those reporting statistics in any case. What we would now do is if we were just sending this to one person, we would just literally type in the number of the person that needs to receive that message. Um, or if it's a series of mess uh, messages being sent, we can manually type in each number. Um, once we're happy, we then literally just need to select the date and time. This is where you might notice a little bit of a difference now between the online version and Excel to SMS. Um, the reason being is in um, the online version, we literally, as soon as you hit the send button, the message is sent or delivered within three to five seconds based on our relationships with the major networks. Um, just because Excel needs to talk to our platform, you will need to schedule the message for a minute in advance. So in this example, what I would do is I would select the, select the time and then just amend that to, let's just say 11.15 for the case of argument. What we're now going to do is literally just send that text message. Um, once we're happy, we just confirm that message would go out. I'm not going to send this because it is dummy data that I'm using. Um, one little caveat to bear in mind as well is on the online version, you do get a character count. On the Excel version, there is no character count. So be mindful that a standard text message is 160 characters long. So for the existing customers, you'll be well versed that one credit is equal to one message 160 characters long. For the new customers amongst us, bear that in mind. Um, as an FYI, uh, the system is built to be able to send multiple messages. They will go as one text, but it will be broken down per 160 and charged accordingly. So we've always said in the past, always try and keep the content to 160 if you can, just so it keeps the cost down and allows you to maximize um, the, re the potential return for investment on that basis. So that's the first way of sending a text. It's just a, a, a simple, very basic message without the need to, um, to log into Messenger, uh, if that was easier to do through your desktop as opposed to, uh, to logging onto the online version. The next options you've got, um, and I'm just going to refer now to the um, spreadsheet that I've pre-created, is the ability, so traditionally, prior to us launching this new solution, um, you would create your data sheet um, through Excel. Um, you would then need to load that into the platform as a CSV. So the idea being now is it's cutting out that step, uh, and you're still able to use your personalization. For the new customers amongst us, um, if you've used Mail Merge before, it's probably the best analogy. Essentially what you've got in the platform is three custom fields labeled custom one, two, and three. What you actually do for that is, is you set the criteria um, for, you, for each custom field. So in this particular example, custom one might be car registration, custom two might be the expiry, and custom three might be the renewal. In the online version, um, you are restricted to the three custom fields plus a name and a surname. The main advantage of Excel to SMS um, that you are able to have an unlimited amount of custom fields. So on that basis, um, you know, if you if you had ten custom fields, you could include them. All you would need to do is label each column accordingly, based on the custom fields or criteria that you're um, trying to use. Um, and uh, you'd then refer back to this little widget here. Um, what we would need to do beforehand, though, is literally just copy all of the data fields. We then need to tell Excel that we want to use selected cells. And we do that by clicking the select, Use Selected Cells uh, icon. We click OK on the Select Data field. What you'll automatically notice now is that the number has been recognized, so all of the numbers under column A have now been pre-populated in the numbers column. So that's the first major advantage for sending mass broadcast. We then select whether we're using um, a name or a number based on what this is going to pull through from the online version. We're then ready to compose the message. So whereas before I literally just typed out a very basic text, here now, and it works exactly the same as the online platform version, I literally get the option to insert a placeholder. 
I need to select the criteria I'm looking to input where relevant within the message. So in this example, I would want to put the name. And I can now insert the placeholder. And then you can then fill out the rest of the content. Where appropriate. What you can also do for speed, as opposed to type and click, as I was doing there, is uh, you could literally just type. You would need to use the wiggly bracket as opposed to uh, the, the more traditional um, bracket, but uh, it, there was nothing stopping you. Hi, wiggly bracket, name, close wiggly bracket, your car reg, and uh, away you go. That would work just as effectively. Once you've composed your message, again, you would need to set the date and time. And remembering to set that date, uh, or sorry, should I say the time for one minute in advance. Once you're happy, you hit the send message button. Um, again, you would get your breakdown of how many messages that is sending. And if you wanted to calculate the cost, you could. That is probably the best workaround to be able to ensure that you've kept 160 characters. Um, so if you think, well, there's 10 people on that spreadsheet. In theory, if I've kept 160 characters, that should equate to 10 credits. If that's equating to 20 credits as an overall cost, that would suggest you've gone over 160 characters. So on that basis, what you'd have to do is review the situation. Could I cut the content down to make it within 160, or am I happy to double the cost on that basis? In terms of what I wanted to show you today, that is pretty much it. As you can gleaned from um, this webinar, the, the solution has been designed to be very user friendly, um, it's very basic in that you won't see many of the additional features or functionality you get in the online version, but hopefully we've um, created um, less steps for basic messages as opposed to having to create a spreadsheet, load that into the system and then prepare a message, it can be done directly through the spreadsheet itself. Clearly, it's, it's easier to, to log into Excel um, than, uh, than it is to obviously go onto Google, go onto TextLocal's website, and then put in login credentials. So you'll save a minute or two there. But the major, major benefit, as I say, of using Excel to SMS over the online platform is the unlimited custom fields. Uh, I can't stress enough, you really can have as many as you like in there uh, based on a specific requirement. So that's everything I needed to show you, but however, as we've been going along, we have had a series of questions that have come in. Um, so I'm just going to answer a few of those, um, and uh, at the end, what I'll then do is give you my contact details. Should you want a one-to-one -one demonstration to consolidate everything I've shown you today, feel free to contact me. Likewise, once I've sent you the instructions to be able to download the, the widget on the right-hand side, if it's still unclear from those instructions and you'd like me to show you, I'm happy to do that, and certainly for the new customers on today's session, if you'd like to understand what the additional features and functionality look like within the Messenger platform themselves, again, feel free to contact me. Um, so, first question is quite relevant. I think we've had a number of um, resellers on the call today that um, want to ask, can, can sub-users on uh, my text local account use Excel to SMS? The answer is yes, sub-users can use Excel to SMS, they just need an API key which is generated um, in the online account and again will be listed in the instructions we send you. In addition, a sub-user could be set up so that they never need to log into Text Local. In this scenario, the master user would generate the sub-users um, and then uh, manage their credit allocations from the master account. So absolutely that can be done and again if what I've said doesn't make sense, um, for the agencies amongst us, feel free to contact me one to one. Can I change the sender name in my messages? Um, so you can use any of the sender names set up in your text local account, just select them from the sender name um, which I showed you earlier here and this is pulling through everything from the online version that you've used historically and as I said earlier you can't generate any new ones directly in Excel. If you would like a new one there, you would have to first send that message in the online version for it to pull through on that uh, on that second occasion. Um, I think there's a, a series of questions. How do I connect Excel to, to Text Local? Um, that will become a lot clearer when you get the instructions, but again, just to recap on that, to connect Excel and Text Local, you need an API key. 
which you generate within your text local account um, and we'll send you over the user guide on that in due course. Um, do I need to configure my spreadsheet in any particular way? Um, no, not really. So long as each column has a unique column header, um, as you can see highlighted here, um, you don't need any special settings. You basically tell an Excel to SMS which column contains your phone numbers when you create your message. Uh, must phone numbers be in a specific format? It's a good question, because um, as the existing customers amongst us will be aware, uh, whilst we're a UK business, you can send uh, worldwide through our platform. Um, and you'll also be aware that Excel doesn't recognize zero as a value. So with the best will in the world, you'll try and put the zero in. But once you navigate off that particular cell, it will automatically delete it. So normally to get around that, you would put in a space so it recognizes the zero. Um, you don't need to do that in this instance. So the system will remove any spaces. Um, so if you did put a space in, it will just automatically recognize the number. Um, and uh, if you are putting the um, dialing code in, as you can see here, that would be beneficial. So if it was a UK-based number, it would be 44. If it was Irish, it would be 353, uh, and so on, just dropping the zero. Um, there was a question relating to um, international send, so I'm hoping I've kind of killed two birds with that, uh, that question there. Um, just to recap, we can send worldwide, just ensure you put the, uh, the country code in there. Um, can I see how many characters are in my message? Uh, sadly not, as we discussed during the demonstration itself. Um, it is a case of just trying to judge um, from, uh, from the message content as to whether that falls within 160. As I said, as a workaround, when you hit the send message button, you can calculate the cost. Just to recap, a standard text message is 160 characters, so therefore one credit is equal to one message. So on that basis, just do a quick sum in your head. So if you know there's 10 records there, in theory, if you kept within 160, the character cost, or the credit cost should say 10 credits. If it says any more than 10, then you've gone over your 160 character count. Um, just final two questions. Um, when will my messages be sent? I just want to cover off and recap on that, because as I say, there is a bit of a difference from the Excel version to the online version. Um, so you can schedule messages to go out at any time by selecting the date, hour, and minute of the send in the date and time box. To send a message now, you must schedule it to go out a couple of min a minute or two's time. Uh, your messages will be sent in real time at the requested time. If you accidentally select a date in the past, you will receive an error message and your SMS will not be sent. And then finally, because again this is pretty key, can I cancel or amend a schedule send? It is not possible to cancel or amend a message in Excel once they have been scheduled. Um, you can log into your text local account and edit or delete any messages by going to reports in the online version and then to the scheduled messages. However, if you were kind of wanting that message going in imminently, you, you've only got a minute to, to log in and get to the reports and schedule messages to cancel. Um, so I'd say, to be fair, those ones that uh, are almost going immediately, um, just ensure before you hit the send button that, that you're happy with the content because it's likely, the likelihood is by the time you get into the account to rectify that, the message more than likely would have gone. Um, and then final question, um, I think there's some uh, questions relating to the, um, the statuses. I think these are mainly coming from the existing customers. Um, you're well aware in the platform itself there, are f uh, there is a full delivery suite. Um, you, again, utilizing our relationships with the major networks whereby we can tell you whether the message has gone to a valid UK number or not. Um, you will still get those reports, but as I said, with the Excel version being quite basic, you would need to go into the online version to get those reports, and you'd go to the same section as you already do. For the new customers, that literally just the reports tab, and then looking as to whether that message was sent as a group or an individual message, uh, and pulling the report accordingly. So that concludes everything I wanted to discuss today. Um, hopefully, um, all of our customers are just as excited about this um, new solution as, as we are. Um, I hope everybody's been able to follow what, everything that we've been discussed today. Um, and uh, for those that would like to contact me on a one-to-one -one basis, feel free to call me on my direct dial. That number is 01244 573246. 
Alternatively, you will be able to get me on my email, which is andrew.hemming, and that's spelled H-E-M for mother, I-N-G, at textlocal.com. Um, so once again, thanks for joining us today, and uh, we'll hope to speak to everybody soon. Bye-bye.